But don't be asking for all that crazy stuff. I'm going to tell y'all right now. All that blues, pinks, and purples and blend it all together and put a sunset on your eyes. I can't. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Luxuries, and I'm back with another video. And this video, as you can tell by the title, is a clean girl makeup look. Now, this is trending on YouTube, and I had to hop on it because I really love this trend since it just really shows off the true beauty of a woman. Like, we don't have to throw on too much makeup. All you're really doing is putting a little bit of makeup on to clean up everything. And, y'all, I know I got these huge lash extensions on but you could do this without lash extensions you could do this with just you know mascara and still give that clean girl look but i'm mainly going to be focused on the face not anything else and this is just to cover up blemishes and give me a more refreshing look so i currently don't have anything on my face right now and since it's a clean girl look you need to start with a clean fresh face and also happy fourth of july to all of y'all because today is the 4th of July don't get too drunk but to start off this makeup look what we're gonna do is you want to raise your eyebrows into the shape that you want them and make sure everything just looks as clean and as neat as possible it even helps if you were to and I'm looking if you see me looking off I'm looking at my mirror behind me but it even helps to raise your entire face if you want to and that way you can have more of a smooth clean surface it even lines your skin because sometimes we have like dead skin that we didn't realize our spin brush or our face wash didn't pick up or anything like that and you just want to clean all of that up and make sure that you're not having any five o'clock shadows or any darker looking you know tones to your face because you might have like a little bit of peach fuzz right there if you know what i'm talking about so yeah just just clean it up girl it's okay just clean it up ain't nobody gotta know so the first thing i want to start with is brows and what i'm using is this la girl what is this called perfect precision it says eyeliner but this works perfect for brows like this is literally the best brow thing i have ever found and i've used morphe anastasia all those could what was it cabral all of that you know the expensive stuff but this was cheap this was at like the beauty supply store and yeah this is in the shade dark brown and so this is what i use for my brows and i'm just going to sharpen it up just a little bit so that i can get a sharp tip on the edge of my brows and so i'm just going to take it and all i'm doing is lightly light lightly filling in so what you're going to do is you're going to start at your arch And then you want to kind of just bring it forward. And I'm not going all the way here because this part needs to look the most natural. It needs to basically fade in. And we're not going to just fill it in. Basically, I'm just filling in any sparse areas, but I'm not coloring it in, if that makes sense. You just want to make light strokes. And this is very, very, very pigmented. So you got to be careful. So once I have my arch as high as I want it then I'm going to drag it down to the tail and for the tail I just do one little one little line and then kind of fill in anything that's missing and I'm going to clean up this tail I just needed to get you know what I mean just get the shape of it and then we're going to go in with a little bit of concealer just to clean up any spots that need to be cleaned up but this sometimes I feel like this looks a little too Wow, like it's because this is colored in i feel like we should just add just a little bit of darkness to it just like that and i'm using the side of the pencil you see what i mean how it just fills it in just a little bit more but it's still giving very much natural brow and then you can just take a spoolie brush and this is a morphe spoolie brush and i'm just basically blending that pigment and that eyebrow color all the way through the brows that way it kind of spreads just using the spoolie brush and it still gives a natural look. Now, same thing I did with this brow. I'm going to go in and do the exact same thing. And I'm just going to show you all one more time. You want to start at the arch of your brow. Because that's literally the main part. You want to make sure your arches 
are as similar as possible because I know it is extremely difficult to get them looking identical. So just, girl, do the best you can. And especially since this is just a clean girl look, nothing gotta be perfect. We're not going for beat to the guys. We're just going for we woke up and we look good. That's what we're going for. That you should wife me because this is how I wake up. And I'm not going to scare you in the morning. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to do too much to do the most. <laughs> it makes sense. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, well, unfortunately for you, sis, you're going to have to catch up. And I'm doing the same thing, just taking the side of the pencil towards the front area. Not making anything too sharp or anything like that. Just to get a little bit of filling in there. And nothing's too, too dark. You see, you can hardly tell the change that I made. And we're going to spread all of this out with the spoolie. And there are the brows. Boom. Simple, easy brows. And that's why I love the brow pencil. Whenever you use the actual dip brow, honestly, it puts a little too much on there when you're trying to get a clean girl look. Whereas the pencil is a little bit easier to control. So... Keep that in mind whenever you're picking out which one you want to do. Now, for cleanup, what I'm going to do is use the Juvia's Place in the shade Savannah. This is the closest thing to my skin tone. And I'm going to use foundation instead of concealer because concealer is a little bit too harsh to use for um, the cleanup. Otherwise, you're going to be able to tell that you cleaned up your brows. You know, you don't want to give that. So... What I'm basically doing is just going underneath just a little bit. I want to sharpen that tail, so I'm going to go here at that arch and drag it down to the tail. And you see, I'm not being super careful about it or anything. I'm really just putting it on, and then I'm going to go under here. I don't have a lot of product at all because I want to be able to blend this out to my natural skin. You see? without it doing too, too much. That way we just have a little something. It just looks a little more clean on this side than this side. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? Clean girl, just very simple, easy, and super quick. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Start with the underbrow, take it to the tail, go to the arch, and I'm using leftover product for the top so that I don't use too much. Clean up that arch, drag it down. And then just kind of fluff it out towards the beginning and underneath as well. And then I'm just going to drag it down. And then boom. And honestly, if you want more of a natural blend, you can go in and just blend it with your finger. Like, it's that simple. And I'm not using primer or anything like that because... I don't want to give full face. Now, I don't need primer on a regular basis anyway. So if you need primer, then go ahead and use primer. But since I don't typically use it or have to, I'm not going to do it, especially since we're just putting a couple dots of makeup. So now that the brows is done, what I'm going to do is take this same round, flat, uh, basically it's like a concealer brush. And I'm going to use my same foundation and I'm just going to take little dots of it. Just a little bit of product and I'm going to clean up any blemishes that I might have anywhere that it needs a little bit of brightening. Like you can see my veins underneath this eye. I got a couple dark marks, you know, stuff like that. You want to just clean it up just a little bit. And I've been breaking out just a little bit. So that's why we need to use a little more than normal. But... Typically, if I'm not breaking out, like, I literally will focus on this area and mm, my nose and maybe my forehead. But really, I don't be needing to do much whenever I'm not breaking out. But since we are, this is a perfect time to use this because when you're breaking out, you do not want to put on a lot of makeup anyways. You want to kind of keep things to a minimum. And I kind of spread it all over my nose because my nose is very red, like... My nose just gets red, so I don't want people to be able to see that. So, yeah. 
And this stuff is so good. Like, you literally don't need a lot at all. That's why I love Juvia's Place. When I want a full face or whether I want a clean girl look, like, it really doesn't matter because Juvia's Place really does do its thing. And it covers up everything that I needed to cover up. Like, does it make sense? Because it's so thick. Like, if you just use a dot, like, you'll be good. So, I pretty much put it on, like, the main blemishes and the main problem areas I have. Like I said, I have my veins that pop through at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is take this Real Techniques. It's a little beat up, y'all. I done had it for a minute. But it still gets the job done. So, this is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's already damp. It's already wet and stuff like that. And I'm going to blend this out. Now, I'm using, typically, if I was doing a full face, I'd use a brush. But I want to use just a beauty blender because this is going to give it a more buffed out natural look. And as you can see, we didn't use a lot of foundation. So it's very, it's very, very, very important that you're blending this out to the rest of your skin. And it's super duper important that you have a foundation that actually matches your skin tone. Because if you go in with a darker or a lighter one and you're trying to do like a little spot check, it's not gonna work out now I will say you can also use a concealer rather than a foundation but honestly I recommend this foundation over everything because even though we used a little it covered up most of this but since we didn't use too much you can still see a little bit of like my freckles and stuff like that peeking through which I like because it still gives natural so now that all of that is blended out gonna go under my eyes blend that out as well because my eyes are veiny so if I was just doing mascara I would put some on my eyes but on my eyelids I mean but because I have these super duper <laughs> thick lash extensions on that I did myself y'all and I made a video showing you how you could do your own lash extensions so y'all just go watch that but yeah so since I made them so thick you can hardly see my actual eyelids but yeah, so that's not really, you know what I'm saying? That's not something we really need to cover up. Again, we're trying to do as little as possible. So, now that that's done, what you're going to do is I have this Morphe Banana Rich Powder. And I'm just going to set my face just a little bit because at the end of the day, this is still foundation. It's still 100 degrees outside because I'm in Dallas, Texas. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques brush in 400. And I'm just going to take a little bit of powder and I'm going under my eyes, on my nose, and on my chin. But really, we could throw this all on the face because it's not a lot. But you really wanna focus this on your areas wherever you get oily from putting on makeup or if you're just naturally oily in that area so that this makeup look can still last and you still look clean just throw some powder on there and this banana powder is perfect I wouldn't use a translucent powder because most translucent powders even though they say no flashback no this no that sometimes you could still tell you use a translucent powder and you do not want to lighten your skin color all you're trying to do is clean it up basically now, I will say this, if you did want to lighten it up just a little bit, I was going to, but I decided not to, you could use a little bit of concealer underneath your eyes, but I think I like the more solid look. The only thing I would do that's extra that you could tell I'm wearing just a little bit of makeup is I'm going to go in with this Dome Morphe brush, and I'm just going to contour my nose with leftover product. So I'm not picking up any product. I'm just going to use what was left on this brush and contour my nose just a little bit just because that's a personally what I like. And like you can hardly tell, but like it do a little some. Now if you want more, of course, use product. But if you don't, just use whatever leftover product that you have. And then for the final, 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 final thing that I'm going to do just to make this look feel like I did something. I'm going to take this Master Chrome. This is Maybelline and this is the highlighter that they have. And I'm going to take this little dome brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to pat my nose. That's how I love a good nose highlight. Like, give, give me Rudolph. Give me, you know what I'm saying, those types of vibes. That's what I like. So, just blend that out. So you can still tell, but you can't tell. And it's giving... 
You know what I mean? It's, I don't know about y'all, but it's giving. It's giving what it need to give. It's giving like cute but subtle. But finally, to tie in everything, if you wanted to, you could set your face. But I really don't need to. So what I'm going to do is just put on some lip gloss. Now, typically I would do like a lip combo with like brown. Like that's my signature brown lip. Um, brown lip liner and then gloss. Or brown lip liner and then like a pink gloss or something like that. Like that's, that do it for me every time. But I think I'm going to go real simple. And I'm just going to use my Dreamless Vanity Glitter Gloss. Y'all, this stuff, one, it smells like Tutti Frutti. Like, it is really good. And then I think there's a mint one too. But this, oh, I got this one in mint. My other one is Tutti Frutti. But this one is in mint. And this lasts so long. Like, I literally love this one. Y'all can also check this out. This is from a collab that I did with Dreamless Vanity. Me and Dreamless Vanity got together. We made this lip gloss. So y'all can go to my website, which is linked down below. And y'all can also purchase this lip gloss. But this is what I use. And a little goes a long way, like literally. This ain't the type of gloss that gets sticky and then you be talking and you got like the little web mouth. Like, uh, -uh I don't like that. And it lasts for so long. It's so moisturizing, so hydrating. I can't stand them lip glosses that just got shine, but it ain't got no moisture. Like, that ain't giving, but you see? Oh. Yeah. Me and Dreamless Vanity, we did that. Y'all need to go ahead and shop with us. But, y'all, that is it. This is the final look. I know I got, you know, it's peeking through a little bit. But, like I said, we weren't looking for full coverage. We were just looking for a cleaner look than what we started with. So, if y'all like this clean girl look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all want to see more makeup looks by me, go ahead, comment them down below. But don't be asking for all that crazy stuff. I'm going to tell y'all right now. All that blues, pinks, and purples and blend it all together and put a sunset on your eyes. I can't. We're going to try. Maybe later on. But right now, baby, stick to the browns. <laughs> Natural looks. That's all I got for you. Because that's my thing. So, yeah. If you like this look, comment down below, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm pretty sure I already said that. But I'm saying it again because you need to make sure you do it again. Share this video on your Instagram. Tag me in. I'm going to repost it. And I'll share your page. So, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will see y'all in my next video.